something I've been thinking about lately is why is anxiety more powerful when we feel like we're alone? I mean, obviously the goal is to like feel anxious and go surf anyways, but like a, a super helpful thing is someone else says me too, let's do it anyways, and you both do it together. What I've found in my community of friends in the water is that when we're having a bad day, we'll say it. It's like, I just need to paddle out. I know it, but I'm really not feeling it because there's usually someone else who's feeling the same way. Julia and I will talk about it. Like I'll come home and I'm like, God, I'm just so anxious. Like, I don't want to surf because I'm going to suck. I don't want to do anything. Like, I'm just anxious or depressed in something. And then like, usually someone else is like, hey, me too. (laughs) And it's Mm -hmm. this joint experience that all of us are feeling in a different unique way you're surfing but you're kind of just like processing everything i'd say that's going on yeah the time floating between sets is Mm -hmm. like coping with everything that's happening and to like be with people like i think that's why i like it because i'm not a very extroverted person um but i love to be with people like that are doing the same thing or you're being empowered and other people are being empowered around you through like what they're doing you know even though it's completely different experiences and like I think surfing is a big part of that which is like just yeah just being with a community without having to talk constantly you just like Mm -hmm. get to feel something together and and especially something that can be so humbling like as the ocean and as waves and stuff in the water we have a guess of five sometimes I wish that I could just blend in and like not be noticed and just go out for me this like I don't know it's like a whole this whole like mental thing you have to be stoked from like how far we have been able to come and also keep that fire under your your butt a little bit to keep getting out there and keep pushing and not because you need to be the best surfer out there but just because every woman should know that you have a a place out there and a space that you can be out there it's empowering this is for me this this water this surfing thing this whole this is to serve me this isn't i'm not here to prove anything i'm not in any competition even if i was like it's for me this is supposed to benefit me you know like so what am i getting out of this it's not worth it to sit here and criticize myself and just overanalyze everything like i want to enjoy my time out here and i just want to be so proud of myself that i'm moving my body and this is just the way i'm choosing to do it i'm really trying to move into into just really enjoying the whole experience and the lifestyle I just have to get out of my head of like, Mm -hmm. it's not about how well I surf, it's just about having like the space to Mm -hmm. fail a bunch. And I think that it was once I took on like the idea of like fail as much as possible and just like going with that, it not only works Mm -hmm. in the water, it just like works out of the water too. Yeah, for sure. I just gotta pick myself back up because it sucks. <laughs> like mental health wise, it sucks when everything goes to shit and it sucks when it goes to shit in the water, but like, I don't know. When Elena and I met freshman year, we bonded over our sense of failure in the water. We would go out, probably catch three waves each and uh, feel pretty, pretty accomplished. So I always forget that we met over surfing and well, both of us were in really, really bad places when we came together over the ocean yeah. <laughs> at least i would say so right i yes not in a, not in a great place it's just as important as trying to get through an anxiety attack by yourself it's literally the same amount of importance to bring someone into that and to get through it together i have vivid memories of my dad <laughs> yelling in the sweetest way at me when i was surfing um to lean in like you just gotta lean in because anytime you lean in like you're, you're, or anytime you don't lean in, you're gonna fall or not make it. And um, kind of like the same concept of like, anytime you like let, let yourself 
lead with fear, you're probably going to get hurt. But if you like fully commit and believe in it, it'll probably go a lot better. So it's kind of my family's life motto, and my sister and I both have it tattooed on our rib cage. But also, it's like applies just like surfing to a lot of elements of your life. Just that you know that presence, that um, leaning into all the things good bad and otherwise kind of that you encounter and and also your people and and leaning into them and having them lean into you and yeah she gotta lean in <laughs> be love. 